While South Korea and Canada secured their spots at BlizzCon, Sweden performed nearly flawlessly against Spain, besting them 3-0. France and China both swiftly and efficiently defeated the hopefuls from Thailand and Norway, respectively, and the UK demolished a talented team from Chinese Taipei in an upset. It is time. The road to the World Cup Championship goes through the land of the free. We have Team USA going against Team Germany. Winner moves on to BlizzCon. So every top tier team ever, right? They're composed of specialists. USA don't really have those, so I think there's a chance for Germany here. And here we go. Adam on that Lucio, as always, is kind of our internet hulk on the other side. And look at this, Rock is already taking down Craig's. Our first couple attacks on first point were, you know, a little weaker than we would have liked. Uh, but we, you know, we cleaned it up, we started playing well. I think we had about one minute and we had capped first, so, you know, that's a great offense. For our next map, we're going to Nepal. Little edge for Germany as they try to retake the point here is the only thing keeping the supports alive, but Jake still falls. But that's going to be it. Germany going to take the point. We play quite aggressive, but I would say an aggressive style that is planned out. So now about halfway there, really close. Yeah. The U.S. actually flips it back. They managed to back cap it a little bit. Now they have to hold it, though, because it's all about Germany defending their supports. We are at 99-99 right now. The U.S. winning this fight. This is their moment to try to take back the point. Can they get it through overtime? They can. The United States ties it up. That was very close, Stella. We are one match away from moving on to BlizzCon, but Germany's putting up a hell of a fight. Jake really opening up an opportunity for the United States to possibly win this one. This is the nightmare. Jake has no pressure on them. Yeah, Crank's got to get up there, man. He's coming up with the dragon blade, but there's the melee. They got just enough damage on him, just in time. And the control meter nearly there. Just one or two more kills. And the US, they've done it. They are going to BlizzCon. I definitely think we have a few teams that could dethrone South Korea. I think Team USA is really bringing their game right now. South Korea? No, no, no way. No way at all. I think that South Korea is playing on a completely different level. The highlight of the World Cup group stage was the knockdown drag out brawl between two underdogs from the Sydney stage, the mysterious team from Japan, and a roster of local heroes from Australia. Welcome back, everyone. It's the final match of the day. Who will qualify for BlizzCon? So this is it. Australia and Japan, two teams that generally were considered underdogs coming into this tournament. Now it's all on the line. The crowd is so divided. So many of them have fallen in love with the Cinderella story of the Japanese team coming out of obscurity and finding all these fans. But so many of them want to raise the Southern Cross in pride. And here they come. Team Japan make their way to the stage, led by the ever so charismatic AKTM. But here they come, the hometown heroes of Australia in front of this raucous crowd. This matchup is going to be insane. Japan on the attack first. Australia will defend, pushing back AKTM with that attack visor. Trill has been so good at zoning him out. Meanwhile, the rest of Australia dismantles the Japanese team. It looks like Australia will hold the payload right here. Great defensive start by Australia. Golden opportunity for Australia to get the early lead in this best of five as well to stop Japan here on King's Row. And Atar with that Dragon Blade not able to get enough. And it looks like Japan may take Li Zhang Tower. In fact, oh, oh, they will. Australia couldn't get there in time, and we are all tied up. We'll be back right after this. It's an incredibly back and forth match. Both teams showing that they have maps that they're feeling generally quite comfortable on. The series tends to yo-yo back a little bit here and there. Right. Well, these guys have a way better like dive than we do. Like, yes. three, the three diving heroes, they just do that way better. Like, we shouldn't dive. We shouldn't we be shouldn't playing. play the same matchup into them. Yeah. If better. Yeah. You can run Genji on last point on this guy on defense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, haven't seen him play from there. Can they? Trill gets a kill on the Tayo. Good start for Australia. There's another one. They are going to hold. You know, and it just feels like watching Japan, they've gotten inside their own heads. They're just really not playing like we've seen them play earlier in the week. That's it. Australia takes full sky, and they put themselves one map away from making it to BlizzCon. Things get a little bit concerning on the map of Dorado. AKTM switches towards the McCree pick, and 
really gives the Australian squad a lot of trouble in dealing with him. For Japan now, and again, so much damage coming in. Headshot to Kiki. There's another one into Atar. And IKTM tears them to shreds. AKTM untouched for the moment. So much damage coming out of this. McCree, Trill just can't do anything. How in the world is this guy that accurate? There's the self-destruct. There's the payload moving. And Japan completes Dorado. And we are going to map five. The final map, Oasis, did not start well for the Australian squad. And we're up to 96% already for Japan. They're on the verge of just winning city center. And somehow the Australians wrest control back onto the point. Australia coming back strong. And if they can win this, they can take the round. It's so close. We're into overtime now. And Japan's scrambling. Oh, just a matter so of cleanup now for Australia. As long as they have that target focus, they should be able to take it. And they do. Australia comes out ahead. And then it seems as if their good luck continues because again, in the second round on Oasis, it was zero to 99% in favor of the Japanese squad. This would be a 1-1 series if the Japanese bring things back. This is Australia's opportunity. Trill takes down Yost. They've got to flip it back right here, right now. Trill gets the nice. knockoff kill. Goodbye, AKTM. And he corners the tracer. Jasper does go down in the back, though. Australia wins that crucial defensive fight. And the game to win. Oh, the pick. Oh, my God. AKTM taken out by G1. Australia with the opportunity. Atar pops attack visor protected by the trans. Sentence now. Can they do it? We're in overtime. 99 99. Claire goes down. Now, somebody there it is. Australia going the BlizzCon. And I eat you up with the huge pulse spot play to stop that AKTM so close to that Dragon Blade. But that is the clutch play you need in this situation. And we'll see them in Anaheim. I can't believe it. What a performance by Australia to take this one. A well fought tournament. It's been a pleasure casting it, guys. Myself and the team just feels amazing, especially to do it in front of such an amazing home crowd that has cheered us on for like these last three days. It's been phenomenal. Thirty-two teams started this journey, only eight remain. Boom. China, France, Sweden, Australia, Canada, USA, and United Kingdom will join last year's champion, South Korea, in the 2017 Overwatch World Cup Round of Eight. Why do you think South Korea will become back-to-back -back champions? You are good. <laughs> Everyone except for South Korea, you should be scared. We want to play Korea, so that's going to be our main goal for the BlizzCon. To be able to qualify for BlizzCon, it's, it's just an amazing feeling. As teams battle to do their nations proud, only one nation will emerge victorious. Join us at BlizzCon as we determine who will be our 2017 Overwatch World Cup champions.